Project X. It's about a kid's parents, Thomas's parents right here, uh, go out of town for their anniversary. Um, and it's Thomas's 17th birthday, just like most high school kids. When parents go out of town and you got the weekend there, you decide to throw a party. It becomes the craziest, maybe the craziest party ever thrown. It's like the ideal scenario for any teenager. Your parents go away for the weekend, so you have that amount of time to kind of make the most of it. Basically, it's the monster movie, but the monster is at a party. It was really fun and very loose, almost like an independent set than, you know, than a big studio movie. And the cool thing was is that, I mean, you couldn't ever not feel like you were at a party. We had 300 extras on set. That's true. We had an on-set DJ who was playing in between takes. You had 12 hours and lots of energy drinks. You either partied or you were the wet blanket ruining everything. But they were very strict about casting unknowns because they wanted to feel authentic. And they originally told me that I couldn't audition because I already had too much experience. But I only had done one movie and like no one knows who I am. I had worked on the movie uh, with Zach Galifianakis. I emailed him actually. It was a ballsy move, but um, it, but it, it worked out and he put it into Google with Todd. And so I got to finally go in and read and um, and then yeah, seven auditions later I, I was. With found myself with these guys. I'm the only one who actually uh, did the online open call. They had a system with projectxopencall.com and I basically submitted a, a goofy little video and I mean that got me in the room and then nine auditions and two grueling months later it all kind of snowballed from there. I had a friend, Sean Weiss, who got he's, uh, he was Goldberg the Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks movies. He helped me get an audition for Project X and uh, I had nine auditions. And it wasn't like normal things. There was a lot of mystery surrounding it. You know, we they we didn't, didn't even we didn't even read the script yeah. until after we were cast. But I actually never read the show. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the intro films. I think they're great. I think they're really great for uh, trying to find your voice and trying to. As an actor, like I love doing it because I can take huge risks. Because it doesn't work out. It's a five-minute film. I've done a couple of funnier die videos that I've produced and acted in, and then I'm working on a, a short currently. It's a lot of fun because yeah. it's gratifying. It's cheap. And, and, and you can make some awesome stuff. It's kind of cool. There's so many outlets to kind of do your yeah. own thing now. Yeah. Doing so your own work is a. I'm yeah. I'm a big promoter of that. Uh, yeah. You know, write, writing your own stuff, writing your own material, and with with the technology today, you can. You have no excuse not to. And this movie is kind of a testament to um, sort of social media and how yeah. quick information spreads in the YouTube generation. That's why I think the found footage concept works so well with a movie like this because. You can believe that everyone has some sort of video recording device on them at all times, which is why we were able to get so many you know, angles at a party like this. Part of what made the movie so cool is that even though it used the found footage angle, it wasn't kind of like thrown in your face every five seconds. I don't think anybody's going to feel nauseous watching this movie. I think they're just going to have a really good time. Yeah. The truth is, is that this movie has ruined parties for us. Yeah, nothing's ever going to top it. Now our expectations are through the roof. So. Yeah. It's not even that the expectations are high, it's just that we already know it's never going to be as awesome. It's like, this party's going to be great. Is it going to be as great as the five-week rager we yeah. threw that involved fires, explosions, and rampant nudity? No, no way. Not. I'm just going to go home and play Xbox. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you were set for the night. Yep, all good. From the pursuit of happiness, and I know everything that shine ain't always gonna be gold. Hey.